Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents today a flip through of the Crochet World December 2021 edition. I just got it in the mail a day or two ago and uh, all I have done is rip the top because I don't have any scissors sitting here next to me so I thought I'd take care of that part first. Let's just take a quick looky look to and see what's in there this time. Oh goodness, a lot of stuff first of all. First, I gotta look through all the swag they send and all of the adverts. Um, the Publishers Clearinghouse? I didn't know they were still a thing. Woman Within. If you're a larger person, you've probably ordered from them or at least heard from them before. As I am, as I have. They got some comfy clothes. Not like Torrid or Lane Bryant. It's usually more stuff that's, you know, not terribly fashion forward but it definitely works oh as I wonder if this is a product of my age they're trying to sell me a walk-in tub actually I wouldn't mind having one of those and well maybe it's not sending stuff because of age because I have two count them two flyers for highlights do you remember those the highlights they were for kids and I guess they're still things for kids yeah learning stuff and then they have to disguise religious stuff into it kind of weird but looking at the magazine it says 27 gift ideas for everyone on your list festive and delicate thread designs i'll be looking and admiring i won't be attempting any of those i can tell you that straight up plus 20 great seasonal projects and how to add words to your crochet and isn't that pretty on the cover that is absolutely gorgeous you know, I've heard people say, oh, well, I don't make anything out of these magazines. I should stop getting them. And that's your prerogative, of course. But I actually enjoy looking through them and getting inspiration from them and thinking, wow, maybe I could learn something from that. There's an advert straight away for Plymouth Yarn Design Studio. That's a nice looking sweater. Uh, table of Contents, pretty comprehensive, but they only give you a couple of the images there. Ooh. Some cute little amigurumis that I think I could do. Yes, loving that. A little letter from the editor kind of deal. Um, adverts for clover hooks. I'm gonna pause this for a sec. My apologies. My hands were dry, my mouth was dry. I think Diet Raspberry Lemonade, but it's not very lemonade, so could be a different flavor that I just can't identify. Yeah, advert for clover hooks. Oh, now this is interesting and I can't show you too much here. Let me try to cover the words as best I can. Step-by-step -step Bavarian crochet, um, eventually ending up with that square there. Remember in that calendar that a lot of people had last year, one of the things that everybody had that everybody struggled with was a Bavarian crochet square. Were they watching? Hmm, maybe. Um, Sparkle Baby Duo. These are basically baby washcloth and towel set. And they say that it is a confident beginner. Yeah, that should be fairly cool. I like the colors they're using there. What, are they, what yarn are they using? Premier Home Cotton. There you go yarn most of us can get or something very much like it. There's a knit and crochet show on PBS they're advertising for. Oh, Winter Wonderland Pennants. This is some winter bunting. That is really super cute. If you like to decorate for winter time and not just Christmas. Yeah, I mean, there's a Christmas tree there. There's a little bit of Christmas stuff, but it's actually just winter motifs. One is a mitten. There is a snowman or a snow person. We don't have to get definite with that. Um, there is a, a Christmas tree, and it looks like a little birdie with a Christmas hat on. That's kind of cool. Lots of good directions and showing you how to stitch on different things. I'm going to wet my hands in order to do this. Ah, another advert. Buy me! I'm already subscribed, but buy me anyway. Okay. Travel bus card holder. This is using number one of super fine yarn. Yeah. 
But if you want to make somebody a uh, cute little thing, look, they've got, I'm not sure, is that trying to be Mercedes? I'm not sure what that's trying to be on the front, but that is really cute to put your gift card in because you're not going to make them an actual gift. That's all right. Gift cards work too. That people, you never get the wrong size, <laughs> except maybe sometimes too small. <laughs> These are pretty. This is out of a zero lace weight, so this ain't happening. But I could see doing this in something larger in a cotton to make it like a mat. Look at that. They're making it as like coasters, you know, for your hot cocoa or whatever. But wouldn't that be nice done in a four weight with a much larger hook, with a normal hook size, um, making it pretty anyway? So yeah, you can adapt. Don't think that just because it says it's a specific certain way that you have to stick with that. Yeah, they did say that there was a lot of uh, thread work in here. This one is called the Amaryllis Motif Doily. And this is done out of lace weight, zero, uh, size 10 crochet cotton. Wow. Um, using a 1.65 millimeter steel crochet hook. That's teeny, teeny, tiny. But that is beautiful. That is so pretty. And yeah, I, I really like it, but that's beyond me to see that little tiny thread to be able to do it. Oh, this is another one they've done with that little, boy, if you are into making doilies and stuff, this is the one for you this month. Look at this, this is also zero lace weight. They're calling this the Lydia doily. Also done with a size 10 crochet cotton thread and a 1.5 millimeter steel crochet hook. They're getting smaller, y'all, with every page we turn, but that is really, really beautiful. Here's another one. This is some filet crochet out of that zero lace weight thread again, that 10 crochet thread, using a 1.65 millimeter steel crochet hook, so at least they've gone up a little bit, but that's a cute little scene. And that's another thing, though, I think that you could make out of a larger uh, yarn if you wanted to and just make it a big wall hanging because the finished size on this, of course, it's in inches and stuff. Sorry, 27 and three quarter inches long and 17 inches wide. Wow, that's already pretty big. If you went up on the, on the, the gauge much with a different thread or a different yarn, that could end up taking over your wall. Okay. Oh, and they actually give you a graph for it, too. That is really nice. They don't just have it spelled out in words. Okay, trying to get my fingers wet on the side of my glass. My hands are just dry out. Oh, and I guess this is what they were talking about with adding words to your um, crochet. They have got inspiration dishcloths. And this is done out of a four weight, worsted weight, premier home cotton. Faith, hope, love, put onto these very simple dishcloths. And they are calling this a beginner. What does it say? Easy, so excuse me, not beginner, easy. It, it's their level three, with one being super OMG, I've never picked up a hook. And the highest one, six being, y'all, this is complicated. Um, you best get out your thinking cap. But yeah, so that is kind of cool. If you can learn how to, you know, if you want to put words and stuff on it, maybe you could put somebody's initials or somebody's name, unless they've got a really long name. Oh, and here's another way to do words on your crochet. This is another one that's not done in, in thread. And here's the graph for it. Warm Winter Wishes. It is the Warm Winter Wishes Blanket. And they're using a Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling Medium Worcester Weight Acrylic Yarn. So yeah, this is, makes a good size uh, throw too. 52 inches wide by 60 inches long. That is super cute. I think, you know, if you want to have a blanket to throw out a throw, it looks like it's done corner to corner. Yeah, it is done corner to corner. Even I could do that. I don't know if I have the patience to do that much of it at once but I could do that. Oh, and I like this a lot. This is the graph that they give for it. This is the Let It Snow Hot Mat. 
isn't that cute with the little lace it looks like little scalloped edges there um this is done in a three a lightweight three so yeah not bad at all that's a size that I can handle crocheting with. Looks like they're getting really into the words and stuff with this. I like it. Oh, here's another one with words. They're calling this the Home Afghan. This one also says easy. It says it's done with a four weight. And Plymouth Yarn Encore Worsted Weight Acrylic Wool Blend. All right, pretty warm if it's a wool acrylic blend. And they're actually hexagons. You might think that looking at the words and stuff that you've got some corner to corner going there. Nope. These are done in little hexagons and they tell you how to make them on here. That is pretty awesome. Oh, and to make them, just so you know what you're getting into when you try to make this one, you make 250 winter white and 86 navy blue full hexagons. And then you have to make a bunch of half hexagons, quarter hexagons, and side hexagons. See, I don't have the patience for that. Not all at once. I just, I just don't. Oh, this is stinking adorable. Look at this. This is all definitely holiday stuff. Uh, they're using Red Heart Super Saver, so you know what that's like. It's a three easy. This is called Christmas Joy. And they've got the, uh, the basic doll. You basically, you make two dolls, and then you dress them up differently, okay? You've got the shepherd over here with his little headdress and stuff. And you've got the angel over here. That is really cute. And you've got my middle name spelled out in letters. There you go. Now you know. Here's some more. There's a, some product review from the editor about the maker planner. Crocheters are natural planners. It's what they said at the first, in the first sentence. Uh, no. I crochet. I am not a natural planner. When I buy yarn, I buy yarn. It eventually tells me what it wants to be. Of course, that could just be a me problem, you know. Oh, oh my God. Okay. There is um, an article in, in every crochet world, this in the world of crochet. And this one, they're showing... Where people are using crochet to decorate their bikes and their wheelchairs. That looks like some tough work to do on a wheelchair wheel. And here's another one up here. Wow. I'll have to read that article to see how they decided to come up with that. Oh, and there's patterns. One of these people in here has patterns and stuff too. Oh, these are adorable. It's called Unlikely Friends. Aren't they cute? It says that it is easy. So not quite beginner, but somebody like me could probably do it. Uh, there's a fox and the koala. That's definitely Unlikely Friends. They are kind of adorable though, aren't they? I'm kind of liking that. See, I found lots of stuff that I really kind of want to make. And then, do I make it? Oh, my God! Okay. That's kind of cute. It's a cat. I know you kind of look at it and you think, yellow, it could be a bee. No, it's a cat. It's got the little ears. Um, it's an easy. It's done in Red Heart Super Saver. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that's kind of cute. I don't know why they've got that thing down the front but I don't know I look you know I love anything cats come on oh these are so cute alpaca key covers now this is done in one and zero size yarn but they're really cute it says it's easy. It's easy if you have youthful eyes or a really good set of magnifying glasses. I have neither. I saw somebody showing this off, and I'm going to show you. It's called the Reversible Checkerboard Cowl. They're calling it a, uh, an intermediate. 
you would make it with a five bulky weight from your basic chunky. Okay, this is supposed to be the front and it's reversible. See that? And this is supposed to be the other side. I kind of like the back side better. I don't know about you, but isn't that cool? I just think it really makes those colors stand out better. Little windows of color popping through. Yeah, I do kind of like that one better. Oh, goodness. Harmony Bowl. I don't know what makes it Harmony, but okay. The finished dimensions, five and a half inches in diameter, two and a half inches tall. It's made out of a three weight. Harmony Bowl. I do kind of like the design of that, though. I'm wondering how you make them stand up, because that ain't standing up on its own with all those openings. I guess I'll have to read it. Read it. Who who the thought? Now we're getting into uh, something a little more wearable. This is the Glacier Wrap. This says it's an intermediate. Um, it's done with three-weight Premier Anti-Pilling three-weight DK. But that's kind of a pretty pattern. And here's another wearable. This is called the Bosque Cowl. And they're saying this one isn't easy. And this is also done in a three weight. And they're showing it in a scapies. Did I do that right? Is it scapies? That's so hard for me. But it's done in one of those yarns. But yeah, I like that. That's pretty. It looks like kind of little snowflakes in between on those rows. That's really pretty. Okay, another big page of advert for stuff that I don't need. No, really, it's for Christmas trees. I really don't need them. Ooh, four patch quilt throw. They're calling this a moderately challenging and I think because there's some extra kinds of stitches in there. Small shells, large shells, joining two, joining four. But yeah, you make 59 of those four patch squares and those kind of shows the edge there. I like that, I love the style of that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. At least it's done in a four way. I mean, you could probably do it in a lace weight if you wanted to, but it would be like Barbie sized. You want to make a Barbie sized blanket like that? You do you, but I do want to see a picture of it. This one is also calling it an intermediate. This is the Boho Beaded Keychain. That might be a nice little gift or something for people who do craft fairs and stuff. I could see people doing it in uh, like school colors and things like that. Yeah, and they're using a four-weight Caron Little Crafties Medium Worsted Weight Acrylic Yarn. That is one that I had not heard of. I mean, that doesn't mean much, but I had not heard of it. Oh, and here's another pattern for a different dish towel. This one is called the Hang In There Dish Towel. It looks like it's got a hole and you poke it through and it hangs on itself. All right, that's one way to do it, I guess. That's kind of cute. You put that pop of color in there. And the way they're selling this is, have you been invited to someone's home and need a gift? These pretty dish towels crochet up in hours. Yeah. You gotta make sure you do it right, I guess. And this advert always gets me. Look at this. And I've been told that I should make my teeny Oscar a little couch. I'd have to make it bigger for him. Besides, he would much rather uh, spread his teeny self all over the entirety of my very large recliner. Because he does. He'll take up the whole chair. Yeah, that little couch would not stand a chance. All right, we've got charts for, oh, and an order of how to put those little squares together to make it easier for you. Okay. And something for Annie's Christmas. Ooh. This is an advert, but look at that. That is really pretty. I don't know if that's something you have to buy or whatever, probably, but it's a pretty, pretty 
pattern with those hexagons. And of course they have the usual stuff that they have in every one of these magazines. They give you the, the yarn guides of what the different numbers mean um, as far as the weights of yarns. And they have stitch guides, how to do individual stitches and what their abbreviations are as well, what a lot of different abbreviations are here on the side. So they do, it's, you know, it's not just for super ultra beginners, kind of like me. It's also good for people who've maybe been doing this a minute. And one thing that I really love about this magazine, I've got, I, this is not even the cover yet. I don't know where I am. I've got it all folded up. Look, they have got, um, page numbers of where each one of these projects start anyway. So if you just want kind of a snapshot, you don't have time to look through the whole magazine, what do I want to go look at? You can see it all on one page and that's right inside the back cover, I believe. Ah, yes, it is. So there you have it. That is Crochet World, December of 2021. I happen to subscribe to this. Uh, this is all mine. I pay for it with my own cashy money. And, uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy at least looking through it and maybe someday I'll make some of the projects in it. When is there time? When is there time? Thank you for taking a look through with me. If you'd like to see any of the other magazines that I've done a flip through on, uh, there's a playlist down below. Always check the description of every single video that you visit because you never know when you might find interesting things in there. Also, you'll find out where I got these awesome earrings, these little tiny hanks of yarn. That's right, Lisa Ladybird Loves makes these stitch markers, but they're on sterling silver laborbacks. Why wouldn't I wear them as earrings, right? Thank you all for coming by, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.